Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the militia strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision-makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, 
three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. It's always nice to talk about other people, but it's about people. I still can't believe it. Oh, meeting tell me Peter what happened in, in your a life? local bar in a what tiny village like this. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. Ooh, could be. <gasps> Lucky. So, pea power celebrity tattooist of Tattoo Torment fame, has come to Santa Fortuna, presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? I wish I could afford one of his pieces. Ah, his work is bad <laughs> You heard the news about the Moret. How they had 15 guys in lockup in Mala, and yet all of them worked two hours. That's only half the story. That is P Power, real name Paul Powers, celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Hey, lady, I'm trying to make a phone call here. Buzz off, will ya? Ay, andate la mierda! You have to get me the hell out of here. I'm sorry. Yeah, but 
Ya, pero es que yo no estoy disponible para que me digo, hagamos un momento de función. Si la cambia, ¿no? Es que hagamos un momento de función. That power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to freeze him. Man, if you want to pass, I need to look through your pockets. There's no two ways about it. Ah, no se preocupe, don't swear. It's just routine. Okay, All right, you're Mr. good Bowen. to go. Pongale, Follow pongale. me to the house. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. So famous at... Uh, is this a cut of the two ones? It was supposed to be a tribute to her son, but the guy fucked it up. The big Gustavo ended up looking like a dead chupacabra. When my brother-in-law saw the tattoo, he went down to the guy's house. Shot him dead. Which was kind of down because he was the only tattoo artist around for a hundred miles. That's quite a story. You bet. That's not the right way. What a key. So famous tattoo artist. Is this a god of the two ones? I wonder. I don't know what the real. Person, but the guy fucked it up. The big Gustavo ended up looking like a dead chupacabra. When my brother-in-law saw the tattoo, he went... Oh my god! Ay, qué rico que eres, oh, it's really you! Big power! It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart of the helmet of that time policeman while they're administrating CPR, <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the, the memory to this artist. day. Put some ink on skin. Ah, oh, Chico. Course, Let me just grab a quick freedom. selfie That's with you. All right? Sure, why not? Yay! <laughs> just look this way. Oh, you see. Wow, we look so good together. This is great. So far, so good, 47. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So, this is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Yeah. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a silent chair for days, but this is P. Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed.
you doing this just to annoy me, Kat? It's not every day we have celebrities visiting, you know? You can't focus here, all right? You're being such an ass right now. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. Whoa, hey, I wouldn't want to stab you worry. by accident. You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. I'm watching. One wrong move. Fine. I let you wait. You hear me? That tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Calm down, all right? Everything's okay here. Just doing what's necessary, Rico. You're making me nervous, Jose. Put that thing away. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Jefe. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, way one. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. I heard they raided Mexican pueblos together back in the day. What do you try, can you think? There are lots of rumors about them, but most are fake. Good on you, hombre. You need to be extra careful around the family.
Time to step up your game! Command, bar area is clear. Out. Yeah, you wrote it for money. Yeah, this shit is publishable. He'd make a fortune selling down his own time.
I have a letter from Miss Martinez. All right, let me see that. Is that from Hector? I wouldn't know anything about Miss Martinez. I have this for you. A letter? Is that Hector's handwriting? I don't know, Miss. I'd recognize that junked up scrawl anywhere. I don't want anything from that bum. Guess it comes with the territory, but you're it, man. to let anything from Hector through. But what did I just find? A letter. Were my instructions not clear? Yes, Mr. Martinez. Very clear. I don't know how that happened. Well, make sure it doesn't happen again. Burn everything that even remotely smells like that idiot. Got it? Yes, Mr. Martinez. Ah, oh, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. Martinez is down. Good work. How may I help you today, senor? I'd like to buy some glue, please. No, I'm afraid we just ran out of that item, senor. I sold the last bottle to the mechanic next door.
Ivan, look at it. It's a funny looking vehicle, right? The tourists will be like, if I get in the back of this funny looking thing, I'll probably have a lot of fun myself. I even install a horn that goes, nyah, nyah. Oye, ahora me acuerdo. I was the one who told you to sell this place the day you inherited. If you had listened to me, you wouldn't have to come up with all these half-baked schemes. No way. Hey you, we try to recycle around here. I'm serious. I'm talking to you. Check out what I want. Gotcha. Hello, Creo. You wanna pass? I check your pockets. That's not up for discussion. They stop twitching. You're not making my life easy here. Alright, all good. Go on. sort of breaking the cubicle. I do what it takes to get what I need.
Interesting to see how many of you backpacking types are willing to bend your morals for a little cash. Ah, you're expected. Have a seat. Franco's on his way. Hey, good to see you, man. Did you know Franco sampled his own good? Excelente! the taste test, but that remains to be seen. Follow us, please. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. <laughs> 